Well, Oscar De La Hoya was the golden boy from the skills to the story of fulfilling his mother's dying wish of winning Olympic gold. But as we see in the new documentary about his life, not all that glitters is gold for the boxing superstar. Take a look. The world fell in love with my story. But it was a lie. The pride of East L.A., the golden boy. Oscar De La Hoya was the most popular fighter since Muhammad Ali. I've never told anybody what really happened. And Oscar joins me now. Welcome. You are telling everybody now, aren't you, Oscar? Yeah. Well, I mean, this is a no holds barred, so to speak, documentary about everything that you went through. Um, you said you had to kind of speak your truth about this, right? Is that the reason you did this? Um, well, there's many reasons why I did it. Um, first of all, it was very therapeutic for me. Yeah, I bet. Reliving the past, but also unveiling um, the truth, my truth, um, that people don't know. I, I lived a very public life. Yeah, but there's... Um, but there's so much uh, underneath. And um, I, I had to do it because at 50 years old, like, it's never too late. Yeah. I just was... It was never too late. And so my life that I lived from when I was six years old, I started boxing. All that pressure that I had from family and from friends. Um, then when I won the gold medal in 92, I have the pressure of the world. Yeah. And I'm labeled the golden boy. Yeah. And so it's, I was living a life that, it was almost know. a double life. It was almost right? a double life. Because yeah. you're, you're this one public right. persona of this golden boy, sure. but really you're hurting inside I'm and you're doing pain. things for different reasons than people realize. Right. right. Yeah. Do you think doing this and, and, and going through this whole process helped you? Um, it, it helped heal some wounds. Yeah. But I think it's just, I, life is just a learning process every single day. Yeah. I think um, it's a healing process, yeah, that I'm yeah. going through now. But um, it put a lot of closure in, the, in a lot of things that I lived. Um, I had my kids in the documentary. I had my father, who is a tough, yeah. Tough yeah, son yeah, of a yeah, gun. yeah. You can um, tell by the things he says. Yeah, well, you know, he right. would have beat Oscar. Sure. The, but you know, you have you have your kids, you have your dad, you have uh, s some some previous, not coaches, but whatever you call right, them, trainers. Involved, trainers. Um, and it, it's very raw emotions. Yeah. It's very honest. Did it change those relationships for you? Did it help? Did it hurt? Was it cathartic <sighs> for them as um, well? No, it brought us closer together. Yeah. Um, I wanted my see. I've 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 seen documentaries in the past and a lot of them and most of them are like they're sugar-coated they're documentaries that make you look like really good like you're an angel yeah and this documentary is so real it's not it that. is raw and, no. and that's what i love about it because i'm i'm listening to my kids in this documentary and learning from them and learning from them yeah yeah, it's pretty crazy. And that had to be painful for you to watch, I have to imagine. I'm a mom, yeah, I have sure, kids. Sure. I, I can't imagine hearing th things from them for the first time. Sure, sure. That they were I mean, we love me. each other, obviously. Yeah. We love each other, and I'm, my gosh, they're my world. But, you know, when, when there was a period of my time when I was at the height of my career and I was absent for them yeah. all those years, and to hear it from them now, it's like, wow, it brings so much emotion. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like you said, this was not sugar-coated. This no, was a no. very raw, re very yeah. real thing. Yeah. I mean, I you're, you're not painted very in the best light in a lot of no, these scenes. No, so no. as you're watching this back, did you think, oh, God, why did I have to put all that in? No. 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 I, I'm very happy with, what, uh, with the final product. I think a lot of people are going to be um, just educated on... Um, on what I lived, yeah. um, and you can actually learn a few things here and there yeah. with, with just like with communication. You know, yeah. I think I think communication is key to a lot of things. Yeah. yeah. Well, you yeah. say the past is the past. What do you hope for the future? Um, just keep living a good life. Yeah. yeah that's What's next for it. you? Uh, I, I'm promoting now. I promote yeah. all the big major pay-per-view fights, and I, I'm still in the game yeah, promoting yeah. like over 100 fighters. Um, which was such a natural progression. What a great yeah, idea. Yeah, it is, right? Yeah. So, yeah. It's, it's, it's almost like a double-edged sword because, I mean, boxing gave me everything. Yeah. But then again, boxing made me feel a lot of pain. I know. I know, but Literally, a lot of things in life do that, too. And I think it's yeah. important that you know that and you can right. differentiate exactly. it. You should exactly. check it out at the two-part HBO documentary film, The Golden Boy, debuts July 24th on HBO and available to stream on Max. Oscar, thank you so much thank you. for Appreciate being you. here. Yeah.